All right, let's take this a step further. We're going to use an if statement. Why? Because your screen can get cluttered with data if you got all this stuff to look at. If you can get some white space, you can work better. Right now, the way that I would work, I'd get rid of some of these falses because they're information that I don't want to see, at least for not what we're trying to do right now. I would try to just highlight the truths. So remember with if, you want to check reality for a condition. Then you have your comma, and if that condition exists, then do something. Comma, if it does not exist, then do something else. Let's take this formula and just wrap it in an if because we have our trues and falses. If, open parentheses, and that's our first scenario, then comma, what to do? Let's put in quotation marks a capital T, comma, and if it's false, then Double quotes because we want to leave the thing empty. Close parentheses. Look at that. Look at that. Blank because that condition was false. Double click. Look at that. These are the trues. And we could go so far as to highlight this. Go to home and center. Check that out. Because sometimes we don't always want to sort our filter. Maybe we got these in a certain order and it helps us to visually check where our trues are and we don't have to try to see through a bunch of falses. Let's look at course A or B. Look at everything is changing. Now what do we have? A or B and past. Let's wrap up by looking at using this with numbers to compare values and not just whether one cell, you know, if a P equals a P, but we're going to look now at does a number equal 15 or less than. Let's look at our names and we had a deadline of 15 days to get this course in and pass. So now we want to get, did the person do it within the amount of time and pass? Make a column here, insert. Success. Now watch, I'm going to deliberately build this in pieces rather than try to build a formula all at once. We're going to do the and, and then we're going to surround it in an if. Equals. And. D2. Less than or equal to. H2. Absolute cell reference F4, comma, E2 equal to I2. Close parentheses and enter. Then double click to send the formula down and this is false. Ah, see what happened? Because I did not put in my absolute cell reference for I9. Okay. Try to go back up here. F4. No. Got to go up here. For I2. Use F4 equals then double click 
Now, Jerome took 13 days and passed. So there's a true. Clark, 50 days and failed. Let's look at something else. Okay, Benny, 22 days but passed, but a false because why? Because he's over the 15 days. Now, let's go and wrap this in our if. If, open parentheses. And that's the scenario we want to check is that and statement, comma, if it's true, then open quotes and then put OK. Anything we can put there, comma, and then double quotes for stay empty. Enter and double click. Nice. So now what if we said 10 days? Oh, a lot of people fall out. So let's go back and go to undo. Goes back to 15 and we have OK. And we could sort, go to data. I sorted largest to smallest in order to get the OKs above the blanks. Now, here are the people who are in good shape. And you can be in good shape if you learn to use if, and, and or in various combinations. You can do anything you want just about. Other functions like VLOOKUP will help, COUNT A, lots of other formulas will help. But if you're a beginner, and you can use the if, and, and or, and you can sort and filter, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. C2 equals G2 and D2.